guys it's Laura thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will show you how I made this cool yellow top with this interesting detail in the front and also how I made this beanie the beanie is layered as you can see it's yellow on the top and it has black fabric inside these two pieces are going to serve me together with my stretchy overalls I also made with you guys not so long ago and with a few accessories as my minion costume this year. So if you want to dress like a minion but you don't want to make anything, I will link down below a few items that would work together. So just visit the description box and you can also skip only to the last few minutes of this video. But if you want to know how I created the pattern for this top and for my beanie and how I made these pieces, then please keep watching. Let's have a look at how I created the pattern for my top first. So here I have a sketch of the top, how it looks like when I was done with it, when I created it. And here I have a simple sketch of the front and from the back view of a simple turtleneck shirt where I made several marks. And then I have here a sketch of the new pattern pieces. So let's start with the front part. I made two copies of the pattern for the front turtleneck piece. First, I made this line on one of the copies and then I added about half an inch seam allowance on the bottom of the line and then I came up with this. I simply cut back the pattern so that only this piece was left. Then I took the second copy and I put this piece on the top of the second copy and then I decided how far I want the fabric to overlap and then I draw this curve and this is plus seam allowance what I cut out of the second copy and I was left with this piece. So this one goes on the top of this one and it overlaps like this so this is how it's gonna look like. I hope this is understandable. Now let's have a look at the back piece. I took the pattern for the back piece and here you can decide if you want to have a curve or a straight line um, on the back. It's up to you. I made it a little bit curved, but either one of these two possibilities work. And then I cut it back. You just have to account here also for the seam allowance. And then I simply parted the middle. And then I made a mark that I also have at here seam allowance in the middle and also on the bottom and I've done the same with the collar in the middle so I parted the collar and also added here seam allowance now if you do not mind putting on turtleneck without a zipper you can save yourself this part but I simply hate it that's why I wanted to have a shirt that has a zipper so it's entirely up to you if you want to have all this work with the zipper. My suggestion would be if you have a very stiff fabric definitely make a zipper in the back otherwise you won't be able to pull it over your head or it will always mess up your hair and makeup or if you have a fabric that is super stretchy it might work but as I said I prefer having a zipper because it's so much more convenient whenever I put the piece on. Before I show you the sketch for my beanie, let's have a look at this beanie that I had at home because this is the beanie that helped me to understand how this works and how to create the pattern. So first a few measurements. This beanie is a bit more than 10, 10 and a half inches high. I'd say almost 11, 10 and three quarters to be exact. Then it's eight and a half inches wide. And then there are four seams on the top too. These are the seams that make the perfect oval shape on the top are a bit longer than these seams in the middle. So the longer seams are four inches and the shorter seams are two inches. The beanie has two layers. It has no seam in the middle. And with that in mind, let's have a look at my sketch. This is the sketch. It might look complicated, but once I explain it, you will see there is actually nothing to it. So first of all, this is the fold. This is why the beanie doesn't have a seam on the bottom. However, we will have to have at least one seam on the side since we are not knitting it, we are sewing it. So let's 
Let's look at it as a rectangular shape, which has to be folded in the middle, that has two boobs at the end, or however you want to call it, like half circles, whatever. And then you have to part these boobs, and you keep this curve, then you see where the middle is, and then you just copy it, and you have a rounded, almost triangular shape, which you will copy here too, and then you will make one here, and here, and these are basically the main pieces. You have to add seam allowance everywhere, and um, I would say the only thing that you should keep is the height, which is in total 22 inches, the half is 11 inches because that's the height of the finished beanie. Maybe a little bit more than 11 because there is some seam allowance on the top. What you should not copy from your beanie is the width because beanies are knitted and they are very soft and they stretch out easily. Most fabric don't have the same properties and the beanie would be too tight. And believe me, I learned the hard way. So the best thing you can do in order to determine uh, how wide the rectangle here is supposed to be is to measure the circumference of your head at, I'd say, about an inch and then some seam allowance and that would be this distance. And that's pretty much it. Here we have all the pieces for the top. Let's start on the left side. So this is the bottom front part and this is the top front part. It's gonna be like this. Um, I'm gonna layer these two pieces. This is the bottom back part and the top back part. There's gonna be a zipper in the middle. Here I have twice the color. You can see that I made it a little bit less high than the pattern. And this is the interfacing for both layers. And on the very right side, there is the sleeves. Here is how the front part is going to look like once the top and the bottom part will overlap. So I want the top part to be also the top layer. You can also clearly see that there are pins on each side. This is the mark where the <clears throat> bottom part aligns with the top part and you can also see that I already pinned the edges in place. I simply folded them inwards and I will sew through with a regular straight stitch because I don't want these parts to stretch out. As you can see I have already pinned the sleeves together. Now here I have the pieces for my beanie. Ideally this would be one piece of fabric in one shade but I did not have enough fabric. And therefore I have decided to make the inside layer of black jersey. It's gonna look interesting and it's gonna work as well. So if you have to divide the beanie shape in the middle, you have to account for seam allowance here where the two layers meet. Other than that, it's gonna work just the same. And um, as you can see, I put on my signature crest on the inside layer so that when I fold the edge over the yellow fabric, it's gonna have my crest on it, but you can leave that detail out. I pinned together the top front part with the two top back parts at the shoulder area. Here's what it looked like once I was done. I have sewn the pieces together with stretchy overlock stitch. Once that was done, I started pinning the collar in place. Then it looked like this. I have sewn the collar on with regular straight stitch. And then I pinned the zipper to the back pieces and also to the collar. I switched my sewing foot to the zipper sewing foot and I have sewn the zipper on with a regular straight stitch. Then I pinned the second collar layer in place and I have sewn it on also with a regular straight stitch. 
here is how the back looked like once the zipper was sewn in and once the collar was finished and I'm gonna show you also a few details of the collar so the sides are folded inwards where the zipper is and the bottom edge of the collar is simply cut back with zigzag scissors and I have sewn it in place below the collar seam with regular straight stitch next I aligned the bottom front part with the top part and I pinned all in place. I have sewn around the armholes with stretchy overlock stitch and then the overlapping pieces with a regular straight stitch. And then I pinned the back pieces together. Here is how the pieces looked like once they were pinned together. I have sewn the back pieces together with stretchy overlock stitch, then I folded the seam downwards and I have sewn through with stretchy straight stitch. And then I pinned the sides together and I have sewn the pieces together with stretchy overlock stitch. Next I have sewn the sleeves together with stretchy overlock stitch. Once that was done, I pinned the sleeves in place and I have sewn them on also with the stretchy overlock stitch. I folded the edge of the sleeves inwards and sewn it in place with stretchy straight stitch. I hemmed the bottom of the shirt just like you would do with a cuff it was simply because I was using fabric leftovers and I had to improvise. And then my top was done. It is definitely a gorgeous top that goes with high waist pants or with skirts very well and spices up your cold fall days with this beautiful warm turmeric shade. Now the beanie. So first I have sewn together the side of each layer and the round triangular part on the opposite side. And then each layer looked like this. Next I folded the parts in the middle and I have aligned the remaining triangular shapes towards the middle and pinned them in place. I have sewn them together with regular straight stitch. And then I aligned both layers of my beanie good sides facing each other and I pinned them together. I left a small place open so that I could turn the beanie to the good side. Since I need the beanie to be stretchy I have sewn the bottom edge together with stretchy overlock stitch. Then I used the small opening and turned the beanie to the good side and as a last step I stitched the opening together. And then my beanie was done. The beanie, when I fold the crest upwards, would definitely go with the top and also with the yellow jacket from my Kill Bill training suit. It actually looks good even with the suit itself. By the way, a link for the tutorial for this training suit is listed down below in the description box. As a minion, I will pair my yellow top with my high waist overalls with removable flap. Tutorial is listed down below in the description box. Then I will wear these Sassy Team Punk glasses. And of course, my beanie. I will make sure that only the yellow side is showing. And then I'll also put on black gloves and black shoes. But let's not forget the most important thing, bananas. And that's gonna be my Minion costume. So that was my video for today. I linked down below my Halloween playlist and also some other playlists that I think might be interesting for you together with all of my Instagram accounts and there's also a link to my vlogging channel if you're interested in that. 
Uh, I also obtained one discount code for you guys. It's valid through January, uh, actually the 1st of January 2018. So link to the web shop and the discount code are both listed down below. And that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If that was the case, don't forget to give it a thumb up. You can also share it. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. That would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to the next video with you guys. I love you so much. So see you next time. Bye.